in today's video we have a very very exciting video to show you today right we have um, an unboxing and i want to thank my friend up front is uh it's a guy called raymond and he lives in the netherlands and he sent me a lot of very high quality shrimp and guys they're in that box there and i'm so nervous i hoped please i hope they're not dead because that would put such a downer on my week and my month and you know you get the gist right so let's unbox this let's all pray together that they are alive and Raymond if you're watching this thank you very very much for sending them to me guys there's actually going to be four bags of shrimp in this container here three you will see today and one you will see later on in another video because we have a special video being made for that for another shrimp tank right that you'll see in the future right so let's get over here and get this unboxed Alright guys, let's uh, get this unpacked, right? I am all coffeeed up. I've drank about as much coffee as you can possibly drink before this. Guys, I can't tell if I'm super excited or super nervous or what, right? But let's get this open because I'm dying to see if they are alive, right? So this is mega well packed. It looks like he's used Gorilla Tape on all of the outside. And guys, I do apologise if this camera is a wee bit shaky on this table, but it's the best of what we can do right now. This uh, table is not the most stable. So let's get this unboxed. I'm going to try and get all the outside off first. I'm trying to be gentle so I don't um, stress the shrimp out too much. And I will see what they're like, guys. Pray for me in the comments. Say, pray for Mark. Pray that the shrimp are alive. <laughs> Please. Let's see, can I just pull this out? Maybe I can. Again, thank you very much, Raymond, for sending me these shrimp. I do believe he sent me something like 40 shrimp. And yeah, I said uh, before, Please do go and check out his channel because he has lots and lots of videos on how he keeps shrimp. And guys, I want to make that clear as well. Raymond is is very open with how he breeds his shrimp. He doesn't really have any secrets. So I've learned so much from him over the last few weeks. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm actually going to be able to breed these and keep them without killing them. So yeah, go over to Facebook. Link will be in the description or first comment. And we'll see how it goes. Right, so I've never had shrimp quite like this. I'm going to, guys, I'm just going to cut the tape at the side here just to speed this up a little bit here. The first thing we will see here is if the bags are destroyed or not. Let's hope and pray. <gasps> oh, all's looking good. There's no water anywhere. You sent me a lot of leaves. Thank you very much for this, Raymond. Thank you very much. A little pouch of food as well. And, guys, here for a second, I'm going to pause the video because... I'm actually going to take one of these bags out and I need to identify which bag it is. Right, so here are juveniles from Happy Space Redline. These are a Raymond's own line of shrimp here. And yet yeah, none are dead at all. These are, oh, these are gorgeous. These are juveniles from Galaxy Gold Line. See when you get shrimp and they're this nice. Let's see which bag is first up. Right, we're going to use the red galaxies first. Yeah, this is a really nice. So some of them, they look like they, they are a galaxy, but some of them I can clearly see they have boa in them as well. Soon see them. Let me have a little look in the bag. It's always important that you look in the bag, guys, because you can sometimes get babies that have been born and whatever else stuck in the bag. So there you go. And we're just going to go, guys, for a few drips. A second, let's see. Is this good? This is almost perfect first time. And we're just going to cut the top off again this is double barred you see it let's cut the top off so we'll have to watch all these little bits like this we'll have to watch that we take them out and that there's nothing else in there there's a plain hardball to come out and i think right there is another baby shrimp you see it they're so small yeah i can see there's at least four or five tiny baby shrimp being born in here and same thing again, we're going to wait until this is up to about half full and then we'll put them into the tank. Let's uh, do the same as before. Cut the top off. I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time with the second bag. Well, they came out all at once, right? So I'm double checking the bag now for shrimplets and baby shrimp. Can't see anything. Check both sides. It's always worth checking all these bugs, guys, because yeah, you don't want to kill shrimp, right? So let's get down there. These guys are really nice as well. It'll suck. Let's adjust it. It's coming. It's too fast. 
all you need is two or three drips a second like this if you can even see that that's all you need right guys it is time these shrimp have been dripped for hours and hours and hours right so let's get them into the tanks so let's have a little quick look first you can see here these are these are lovely lovely shrimp you can see all the babies and stuff at the bottom one of them molted this one that's swimming around on the right hand side there so i take it it was the mother and those are the babies these guys look gorgeous as well and we'll get them into the tank and these are the other ones and they'll be going to this tank over here right, so let's just get them in guys because yeah i, I think i have been Kicking ass with this drip acclimation today, and I just want to get them into the tank. Right, so let's see how they look. Come on, out you come. Out you come. There you go. Really nice. Really, really nice. Got the babies as well on the inside. Just have to double check here, make sure there's nothing in. There is, there's still baby shrimp. So it always, always pays guys to just double check absolutely everything. So let's look in here again. Absolutely no baby shrimp. Are you sure, Mark? Double check. Yes, there's no baby shrimp. There's some duckweed. But that is it. All these shrimp are in the tank. Let's see, these guys are really nice as well. And these are the juveniles from Happy Space. So these are his own breed of, Raymond's own breed of shrimp, basically. Let's see, net still in there, little blue bolt, blue bolt, or oh, blue steel, blue steels, yeah, the blue steels, these ones. Blue steels from Galaxy Pintos and Galaxy Boa. Let's get this out of here. And there's no baby shrimp in this one, right? So this should be empty. Is it? Yes, it is. Always double check, guys. Double check everything. So there's two big girls in there, I noticed, that were buried. Where are they? There's one of them going down there. They love to hang on that net, don't they? You see them? Go down. This this is not the best setup here for trying to remove stuff from the tank. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, guys. And yeah, I want to make a big special shout out to Raymond and thank him for all these lovely shrimp they gave me. Oh, look at them, they're gorgeous. Look at this one. And yeah, go check out his channel, his Facebook page, I should say. I keep on saying his channel, I mean Facebook page because he, he is on Facebook. And yeah, I'll put his link in the first comment, okay?